Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. On Joey's season of The Bachelor, fans of Bachelor Nation are getting to meet Daisy, who talked candidly about her challenging medical background. She told Joey about how Lyme illness made her very sick and finally caused her to lose her hearing. She was fortunate enough to recover from her illness with a particular treatment in Germany, and she was able to get a cochlear implant lately to help with her hearing loss. Additionally, Daisy sent an emotional message on Instagram this week regarding her experience with hearing loss in honor of International Cochlear Implant Day. Daisy commented, Losing my hearing has been the loneliest pain I have experienced and uploaded pictures from the hospital after undergoing surgery for a cochlear implant. When I was 15, I used to imagine myself as a fearful person banging on walls while enclosed in a glass box. I can't be heard, but people are staring in at me. They are not audible to me. One of the most hazardous things I have with me alone is my thoughts. Daisy revealed that she was perplexed and incensed over losing her greatest love, which was being able to interact with people. Over time, Daisy discovered that having a hearing loss actually made it possible for her to interact with others more and in different ways. The Bachelor Nation star claimed, it opened up the capacity to love and feel more. I mistakenly believed that as I grew older, I lost sight of who I was, and what I truly wanted to be. I see now that I was merely a girl who was nice to everyone but herself. I didn't lose her. My hearing loss gave me the opportunity to rediscover my self-love. I will not lie and say that everything is fine. I realize that will take time and understanding, so I'm currently working through it. My inability to hear has allowed me to reflect on who I am and see how strong, capable, and able I am to turn a challenging situation into something lovely. Despite how challenging it has been and how many times she has wished it away, she stated that she wouldn't have it any other way. I used to go to bed scared of what tomorrow would bring and sound like, Daisy stated. I'm excited now instead of terrified. She continued, I don't know why exactly this seemingly insurmountable mountain was put in my path, but I do know that every day I choose to show up and live this wild and wonderful life I was given. It is driving me closer to my destiny. It has been tough, frustrating, hilarious, bizarre, painful, exciting, new and lovely to have a cochlear implant. Every day I learn a new sound as I wake up. Daisy wrote in her notes conclusion that even though she still feels as though the glass box is there, the roof is open now, and she finds it quite magical to see the beauty in the ordinary. Daisy's continued sharing of her journey and her tale will undoubtedly benefit a great number of Daisy people. Daisy can't truly express know. that she was in love with Joey Grazia Day. Or did the producers of The Bachelor manipulate the footage to give the impression that she was? for all the information on the startling claims. Daisy Kent controls her feelings. Daisy Kent has been the front runner from the first episode of season 28 of The Bachelor to capture Joey Grazia Day's heart. Trista Sutter was among the many viewers who developed an instant bond with the 25-year-old Minnesota native. Daisy had the good fortune to go on the first one-on-one -on -one date of the season. She took advantage of the chance to talk about her health issues, which included a fight with Lyme illness and deafness that ultimately required a cochlear implant. She is the second competitor on The Bachelor to use a hearing aid. The first was Abigail Herringer from season 25. A few weeks away from the season finale, Daisy is still in the running. She hasn't spoken much about her feelings, though. Daisy's comment, I'm not going to tell him I'm in love with him just to get a rose, was well received by viewers. On a recent episode, Joey took the last six women to Jasper, Canada. Daisy was given the much-coveted second one-on-one date, 
but she remained reticent to declare her love for Joey. But declared, I believe it's happening. Or did she? An ex-Bachelor cast member surmised that Daisy's exact words and meaning may have been misinterpreted by the editing team. Bachelor producers allegedly edited words by Daisy Kent. Courtney Robertson was the most despised Bachelor competitor at one point. She gained the reputation of villain during the Bachelor's 16th season. Ben Fladnick only witnessed her best moments, while viewers at home witnessed her conflict with the housemates. They split up less than a year after he proposed during the season final. Even though she is happily married and has two children, she continues to follow the brand. She appeared on the Here for the Right Reasons podcast by Us Weekly to discuss her feelings about Joey's season. Despite her opinion that Joey and Daisy are so cute together, she didn't understand the most recent episode. Joey and Daisy went on a date that included ice skating. Daisy once claimed to be falling, but was she referring to falling on the ice or falling for Joey? Although Courtney Robertson believes it was the ice, the producers manipulated it, so Daisy seemed to be referring to Joey. You can see that they combined two clips when you play it back. It isn't elastic. She exclaims, I'm falling. According to Courtney, she was probably thinking, I'm falling all over the place. Her description sounds a lot like Frank inviting. Mary Pepin, a former student of BIP, talked about how sound bites are used by editors to build tension. Do you concur with Courtney Robertson that Daisy Kent's remarks were changed by the Bachelor producers to signify a different thing? Post your oh, ideas in the on the program. Section. Bennett found love off-screen. Fans first got to meet Bennett on season 16 of The Bachelorette. Bennett introduced Bachelor Nation to his girlfriend, yoga influencer Emily Chen, on Instagram in September 2021. In August 2022, the two finally became engaged, and as of right now, they are lawfully wed. In front of their close friends and family, the couple wed at a Lizzle ranch in Solvang, California. Bennett posted a cheerful message on Instagram, saying, 224th slash 24 is the happiest day of my life at the wedding. M cried once, while I sobbed three times. We sobbed so much that day that I am at a loss for words. I'm still bursting with emotion and am eager for some much-needed rest and relaxation with my sweetie. Joe Park and other Bachelor Nation celebrities were present to commemorate the momentous day, while numerous others left supportive comments on his post. Congratulations, wrote Mike Johnson. Then Nate Mitchell said, I congrats. Zach Clark also left a heart emoji-filled comment. Joe posted pictures from the memorable day to his Instagram stories, tagging Emily and Bennett in the kiss when they made their way down the aisle. We are ecstatic for these two and look forward to everything that their married life will bring. Well done, newlyweds. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.